John Vickridge from Hudley. Uh, we're looking here at the Hudley IQ camera, which is our latest camera in our range. Uh, we have the Hudley Go and the Hudley IQ. The Hudley Go and IQ both deliver a 150 degree field of view on the diagonal, 120 on the horizontal. We've also added into this camera, uh, the Hudley IQ specifically, a convolutional neural network. What that allows us to do is to be able to detect people that are in the room and zoom in on them appropriately. So if there are, say, three people in a 10-seat meeting room, then what will happen is the camera will see them and zoom in on them so you don't see a bunch of empty seats. What we can then do if more people join the room is we can zoom out to accommodate them as well. The whole purpose being is that we don't want people to have to use remote controls. We find that often remote controls are something that are regarded as a bit of an obstacle to using video conferencing. So we wanted to make sure the camera looked after itself. At the same time we wanted to deliver fantastic quality, so we put six lens elements into the camera and that nice wide field of view gives us the ability to let people sit nice and close to the camera. So if they're in a small huddle room where naturally the angles are going to be more difficult for the camera to cope with, we can still see everybody uh, even when they're sat really close to it. Uh, the other important capabilities of the camera is that because we can detect people in the room using that neural compute engine, we're also able to count them. So if you want to gain some insight into how well your rooms are being used and how well your video conferencing uh, solution is being used, uh, we can do that with our camera. The important thing about all of this is that this neural network, that's, this, this artificial intelligence that allows us to detect people in the room, all runs on the camera itself. So if you want to add us to a device that's never seen our camera before, uh, you know, a device perhaps running Zoom or Microsoft Teams or BlueJeans or whatever in a meeting room, we can connect our camera to that device and it will automatically detect people in the room and zoom on in on them as I was saying before. So this all runs on the camera itself rather than having to run PC uh, software to help us deliver that.